Refugees in Idomeni continue to live in squalid conditions as rainy weather for several days has made the entire area wet and muddy. Forty percent of the refugees here are children and many of them have gotten sick with respiratory and gastrointestinal illnesses. Whenever you walk around the tents in these muddy fields, you can hear them coughing. The latest estimates have the number of refugees stranded here at more than 12,000. Up until Monday morning, Macedonian authorities were letting a few hundred per day to cross. Since then, that has stopped. Many of the refugees stranded here, waiting to move north, have been here for several weeks. One woman, a Syrian refugee from Adaya, a town on the outskirts of Damascus, has spent an entire month in Idomeni. The last refugee to cross the border was just two places ahead of her in line. Many of the children you see here are still young enough to retain their innocence in youthful joy. When it's not raining, you can see them playing football, others singing songs with their mother in the tents. Others helping the adults set up tents and put wooden pallets underneath them in order to stay dry. Refugees are provided with a sandwich, water and juice, but the sheer number of those in need means that it is an hours long wait in line for each meal. Now that several days have passed without a single refugee being allowed through, some have begun to leave Idomeni voluntarily. Buses have been sent to bring them back to Athens to take them to Thessaloniki or to other parts of Greece where reception centers are being set up. UNHCR is encouraging them to sign up for the EU relocation scheme which would have them relocated to one of the 24 EU countries participating in the program. But this is a process that will take at least several months, meaning many more days stranded in Greece, living in destitution. Nick Barnett's reporting in Ilomeni for Athens Live.